Welcome to Learn with Priyanka. Please watch the entire playlist for all the questions. Question 26. You have a fabric tenant that contains 30 CSV files in one lake. The files are updated daily. You create a Microsoft Power BI semantic model named Model 1 that uses the CSV files as a data source. You configure incremental refresh for Model 1 and publish the model to a premium capacity in the fabric tenant. When you initiate a refresh of Model 1, the refresh fails after running out of resources. What is a possible cause of the failure? A. Query folding is occurring. B. Only refresh complete days is selected. C. XMLA endpoint is set to read only. D. Query folding is not occurring. E. The data type of the column used to partition the data has changed. The answer options are tricky, so please review the question and options, then verify your answer. The correct answer is option E. If you thought it was option D. Query folding is not occurring. Let me explain why that is incorrect. Query folding does not happen with CSV files. Supporting documentation from Microsoft confirms that query folding is not applicable to flat file sources like CSVs. Therefore, the refresh failure is not due to the absence of query folding, as it would not be possible in this scenario. Option A. Query folding is occurring. Query folding means that data transformations are being pushed down to the data source significantly reducing the workload on Power BI. Given that the data source is CSV files, query folding cannot occur, making this scenario incorrect. Option B. Only refresh complete days is selected. This setting ensures that all rows for an entire day are included in the refresh operation. It does not directly address the issue of running out of resources during the refresh, so this option is incorrect. Option C. XMLA. Endpoint is set to read only. This setting controls the ability to read data models via the XMLA endpoint, but does not directly impact resource usage during a data refresh operation. Therefore, it is also incorrect. Option E. The data type of the column used to partition the data has changed. A mismatch in data types, where date time is required for the range start and range end parameters, but the table column is not in the date time format, can cause the incremental refresh to fail. Both the parameter data types and the filtered data column must be in the date time format. If not, the query cannot be folded properly, leading to resource exhaustion during the refresh. Given that CSV files do not support query folding, we can confidently rule out option D. The refresh failure for Model 1 in our question is likely due to a data type change in the partition column, making option E the best answer. Hope this explanation was helpful. Make sure to like, share and subscribe for more videos.